I keep forgetting to bring these. Not this time. Breakfast. Oh yeah. <laughs> In case you're wondering, yes, breakfast was as epic as it looks. Our stomachs full, we hit the road without delay. It was such a beautiful day, just about perfect for hiking. And we're here. There's a small fee to park here, but in my opinion, well worth the cost. Welcome. We have just arrived at Ken Reed uh, Conservation Area. This is in uh, the Kawartha area of Ontario. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Well, so far we're just on the road, but uh, we've got to get to the trail yet. I'll let you know how it goes. So I want to go up and around here, across the boardwalk, go up and do this blue trail, all as far as on the outskirts as we can get, if, to the orange trail. Then we either make a decision to head straight back, depending on time and weather and how we're feeling, or we can start going like the blue trail to the boardwalk and start lining through all of this, which is ideally what I'd like to do. But we have to see how we feel. This is the first time here, and um, not sure quite what to expect, but um, based on the pictures on Google, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm excited to check this place out, see what it's all about. Uh, hopefully find some good wildlife here and good landscapes. Ken Reed Conservation Area is just a few minutes north of Lindsay, Ontario. There are many activities at Ken Reed, including hiking, biking, canoeing and kayaking, with a boat launching area, bird watching and bird photography, and the park hosts a number of features including a playground, sheltered picnic area, bathrooms, a lookout, several boardwalks, and it has year-round parking, so there are also winter activities like snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. I was thrilled that I brought the bug spray with me. There's a great blue right there. There it goes. Oh. There's another one. Just in the water. Oh my. Are you recording that? I am. Now, can you imagine if I had the big lens? During the spring and summer, bugs can be particularly bad here. Most of the area, after all, is marshland and low lying areas. If you're planning on coming during those months, bring bug spray and be prepared for mosquitoes. As a first time visitor, I was quite impressed with the scenery and wildlife here. There's plenty of potential for both landscape and wildlife photography. And that to me is very exciting. Exploring this conservation area was a treat with the amount of beautiful scenes and the number of bird species that I encountered, you can be sure that I'll be back with a plan to devote much more time to photography. There are a number of different hiking trails in Ken Reed Conservation Area and the diversity of the hiking trails is quite interesting. There are about 10 kilometers of trails and one thing I love about it is that a lot of the trails are interconnected so you can customize your hiking experience. Hiking trails are clearly marked and the majority of them are quite beautiful to walk. It's bisected by the Victoria Rail Trail formerly a train route, now converted into a trailway. And it's another option to extend your exploration of the area. After hiking many of the trails and getting some kilometers under our belt, it was time for a well-deserved lunch.
having enjoyed the peaceful and pleasant trails of Ken Reed Conservation Area, it was time to head home to our little slice of peace, the garden. I was not expecting it to be as beautiful as it was. Um, to my surprise, there was a lot of photogenic areas and basically just... <laughs> it brought me peace and joy to be in the park. Um, very happy that I went and I will definitely be going back. When I return, I am going to have a plan in place to do some wildlife photography and in particular bird photography. For some people, the size of the park might be a little bit small. Uh, those intense hikers and so on, heavy duty guys and gals. But I think that the beauty of it, it overcomes the size. It, uh, it really was really lovely. And I do highly recommend it. I think that it's a great place for families to come to. Um, have a quick picnic uh, and hike some trails and see some wildlife. Uh, remember always to be respectful of wildlife. If you do happen to be in the area, it is definitely worth stopping into. If you're a nature lover, uh, you are going to like it. So I highly recommend it. Uh, stop by. Let me know if you did stop by and let me know if you like this uh, little review of the park. If you're a wildlife photographer, let me know your opinion on it. Like I said before, I am definitely going to go back. There is so much potential for birding. I can't wait. Honestly, it's gonna be great. I just know it. I thank you for watching this video and joining me on this adventure. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.